Hello to all my friends out there. So now I want to continue on the discuss discussion of aliens and what is their end game. Okay, now. Last night we discussed how As of 1903 was the first time there is an airplane. So all through humanity, at least let's just say 2000 years, it wasn't until 1903, there was even an airplane, even cars. Let's see if I can unroll my window. So uh, it's nice and breezy today. And then, as of 1950, which is only 50 or six, well, 70 years ago, it was postulated that Hitler had contact with aliens, you know, flying saucers, alien race in Antarctica. Like what alien race? So, starting at 1950, what alien race is supposedly maybe be underneath Antarctica and they're using ice blasters and they're doing all kinds of stuff and you might be saying well they're just trying to get to the oil yeah that is possibility that is a possibility but Hitler was known to be in Antarctica and underneath the ocean is known to be the Nordics, which are tall Scandinavian looking type people that shapeshift into reptilians. And it was, it was uh, Hitler's desire to, to establish this super race. We have still have stuff like super soldiers, all the super race stuff, Nordic type stuff. So the Nordics were like a super race that wanted to, to reemerge from under the ocean or underground. It's been postulated that the reptile or the great dragon was caged. Okay, so an, a, an alien is a life form that that is not originated from the earth is not a human life form that is an extraterrestrial life form does life form have a body sometimes yeah especially if they bred with humans sometimes no okay now it's possible that the nordic race was was the submerged atlantis and there's all various places it's been postulated that Atlantis could be, but one is Antarctica. And so these Nordics could have been the giants that bred with humans. And they could have been encapsulated underground and they should, could be a way to find, to re-emerging. Okay, at one point, the fallen angels found a way to, to breed with humans. Or a fallen angel could indwelt a human. Okay, so okay, so what what this video is 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 the Nordics slash reptilians. Okay, the Nordics tall um, Scandinavian attractive people can shape shift into a reptilian so you might be saying well it's really a reptilian well it's really both and the Nordics should be gigantic and they should be possibly maybe not in every case coming from the lost city of Atlantis and the Nordics slash reptilians require human sacrifice possibly because they're carnivorous 
Um, at one point in, in one of the mukbangs, no, it was a live chat. I showed you guys a, a small um, icon of St. George slaying the dragon because he was requiring human sacrifice. And this goes all through time. Okay, there was the Incas, which was a huge civilization, and they would sacrifice children. Their God required sacrifices of children. And then there is um, pyramids, and there's depictions of godlike depictions. And so these, these miraculous uh, cities were built with the help of these godlike rulers most likely alien type rulers. So we had the Incas, we had the pyramids. And from the Greek mythology, the Etuscan evil mantis was one. Um, okay, if you notice um, Versace's ma um, mansion was Medusa all over, and it was also very close to the ocean. So these fashion, we'll, we'll explore these fashion houses in a minute. Okay, so Nordic slash reptilians. Okay, so, so where would these aliens, these rulers of the earth want to live? They would want to live in palaces, mansions, and fashion houses. They're called fashion houses, like the house of whatever the fashion house is. Okay, so they want to be the rulers of these these huge dwellings. Also, another one was the Chinese Dynasty, which was the Ming Dynasty, and it was said that the gods, the people who inhabited these palaces, were gods. They they had to have these palaces. A certain way because these entities or God like demigod people were inhabiting these these palaces the Ming Dynasty and they didn't want outsiders into their culture because you know they were were being ruled by this this ruler okay so we have these demigod rulers from Atlantis, we have these demigod rulers, the Ming Dynasty, these alien type beings. So is there more than one? Yes. And they, the other thing is how in a way you can know they exist is where you find human sacrifice. Because most humans find that idea ungodly. And yet humans would actually, in times gone past, and we know that historically, they would sacrifice their children. Sometimes in times gone past, they would sacrifice an animal. Like remember Cain and Abel, Cain would sacrifice a lamb. And they say, this is kind of super interesting. I'll, I was taking all these science classes and you know what I would do? I would never, never show up to school when there was cadavers or like, like heart type stuff because it was just too creepy. But a lamb heart is the most um, similar to a small child's heart. So that is terrible, really, if you think about it. Okay, so... And then, you know, there's the bad entities that require a human sacrifice. That's how you know there is an alien there. Okay, so now, palaces, mansions, and fashion houses. Okay, so now what is the end game? The total and complete end game of these aliens it is to be a ruler of the entire world right now the ruling portions of the earth um you know like controlling these fashion houses uh these these 
kingdoms, but there's one and he wants to control the earth, the whole earth. So last night we talked about this. Well, I'll read you the description of this one. A gigantic godlike creature made up of tiny particle masses of energy. There's that. But there's also these um, rulers on the world, demigods, that control like a ruler areas. Okay, like, okay, let's just talk about um, fashion houses because they are super fascinating. Okay, one of the, the all-time greats died, Carl Langerfield from Germany. And he did a lot of, of, there's all kinds of stuff of his on the internet, but one of the most fascinating short films that he made was The Tale of a Fairy by Carl Langerfield. One character resembles a Nordic, a tall blonde woman, and then the fairy, she, he, she is neither a he nor a she. The fairy is another character. And I believe there is an alien figure that resembles the fairy. It is neither female and it is neither male. And now we're starting to see it manifest in our cultures. People who are not males, who are not females. And there is an entity, and you'll see it in a lot of the fashion house um, fashion. And they'll be very attractive. They're usually males that kind of resemble females. And so in this, The Tale of a Fairy by Carl Langerfield, and you should check these out just for, uh, I watch his stuff hours on end, and it's just mind-boggling, the stuff. Uh, he himself has been described as a demigod, and he very well could have been indwelt by some kind of a entity. So this is a, one of the ways that, and so could these people that are neither he or she they're neither they're both but they're neither so this is very fascinating and this is nothing new okay so now so in the fashion houses you would see these huge um houses the house of whatever controlled at the top of them the structure by alien beings and they manifest in certain ways and then we had the Ming dynasty which was most likely more like a mantis well no you can't say that in a way it's kind of like the you know the the thing or creature with all the arms who's neither a he nor a she and that's in India too okay so and then in the palaces it is common knowledge that reptilians seem to to be there. You know, a lot of people have said, they shapeshift into reptilians and they eat human flesh, which, you know, has never really been documented. And this could have been the whole thing behind the Epstein thing, furnishing humans for the, the use of the unseen aliens, which seem to require human sacrifices, especially if they happen to be carnivorous. Okay, so now, so we've gone over that, the Nordics, the reptilians, the fairy type people, and usually behind the Nordics is the reptilians. Remember the video, Enter the Dragon? I mean, the, sh the movie? Okay, now, 
what is the end game of these aliens? Well, the ultimate end game on the one is to collect all the energy, and on the other one would be a ruler that that would rule the entire earth. And there's mention in, in the Bible of people um, worshiping the beast. So it's not a human. It's like more like a, a creature. Um, worshiping Lucifer. So this, this end game would be either um, an alien appearing as a human. It's not a human. It's like a Nordic or person that's really an alien who wants to rule the whole entire earth or universe as that for that matter. Or it would be a person indwelt somehow by an alien who wants to rule the entire earth. So is the alien agenda good for humans? Well, how they get humans to cooperate is it does seem good, but there is an underlying bad intention like human sacrifices. Um, usually when the human sacrifices would happen, then the person in, would be indwelt and gain power from the alien entity. They would get like vast wealth and all this kind of stuff. Now in the fashion houses, what they would do is they would promote fashions that promote the alien agenda. And it's usually very enticing. Uh, there's another Carl Langerfield uh, video, if you haven't seen, it's called Reincarnation. I just watch the thing over and over. It's super fascinating. Now, the Christians say there is no in reincarnation. There's an appointed time to be born, and there's an appointed time to die. So that is in direct opposition to this but if you think about it, the alien entity does not die. It could come back forever and ever and ever. The people will die. We know that we're gonna die. Okay, so this ruler wants to rule the entire world. Just one person, somehow, I'm not sure how this would happen. And so we see evidence of one of the things they want to do is Agenda 21. Uh, they've had to change it to Agenda 30 to get us all in these big cities and rule us because it's easier to control and rule us when we're, we're in these countries. I mean these cities, these big cities. And also to kill us off if we become too plentiful. I think that was part of the idea of like in Egypt killing the Hebrews because they were just multiplying too much. They were out of control. This was maybe another sub. They didn't want in World War II, they didn't want the Jews getting too powerful because, you know, they wanted to be the super race. So the best way is to genocide them. But in today's in game, they would want to they would want to get rid of people that were not like productive members of society so this is very scary about the agenda 21 sickly old you know anything that wasn't good oh so anyway it'd be like um what is this called the ends justify the means so like if they have to like eliminate a certain number of people, the ends would justify the means and the overall good would be better for the, well, alien agenda. 
this ruler would not be entirely bad, but he would, he's, he could be a he. He could be uh, neither a he nor a she. And I doubt it would be entirely female, but that's not, you never know about that. So the end game of this, this alien would be to rule the entire world somehow. Through, maybe through politics, maybe through religion. A lot of people think it will be through religion, but I'm not so sure about that. Okay, you guys, that's the end of the alien videos for now. And God bless you all.